Let's go to Brazil very quickly. Let's uh, talk about this one. Uh, get out of the way. Um, Brazil are in money mood. Um, the former captain of the uh, Seleção, um, it led them to winning the uh, World Cup. Um, and uh, that's the man on, on, in, in your picture. His name is Carlos Alberto Torres. Uh, he has died at the age of 72. He died in Rio de Janeiro following a heart attack. Um, he captained Brazil in 1970. He was capped 53 times for Brazil. Um, a lot of us remember, those of us who are old enough, I'm not and sure. And those who saw the pictures. And those who are seen on YouTube, like uh, Cosmos, you can make no, 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 who I have relied on YouTube. A, a lot earlier than that. Remember, it's a a fourth goal in the 4-1 win yeah. over Italy yeah, 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 in yeah, Mexico, yeah. 1970. I won't let that pass. That's a lot, a lot that, earlier, a lot earlier than that. Yeah. That's, it, it, that's it, it, those pictures. He it, it plays as, as a defender, yeah. but he's got a lot of goals. Yeah. 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 But, but there's a Nigerian angle to all of these things, guys. Yeah. I don't know whether you guys were around. Uh, at some point. 1995, yes. this man came to Nigeria. He was appointed the foreign technical advisor of the Super Eagles. He actually he took them to the Gold Cup no, in the US. No, no, he did it. No, he did it. No, Had no. brilliant ideas. He came in <laughs> to Lagos. That time the NFF office was still in Lagos. Mm. Ogunlano Drive, to be precise. Okay. And there was an elaborate World Press Conference where it was unveiled as the new technical advisor of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. So what happened? And so he came and uh, he told the, NF, the Nigerian Golf Association at that time that he wants to get back, go and prepare fully in Brazil, come back with his tactical <laughs> board and all the things he will need to do the job. And he never came back. So he went back to Brazil to go and get ready to resume. And never came back. And he didn't resume again. He uh, never uh, resumed. <laughs> well, I, I feel a, sorry. I feel sorry. sorry. Um, so I, our World Cup winning coach has gone now. Yeah. I, I, I feel sorry. You World know, class coach. We called him that time. That is a depth that we all hold. Uh, mm. I mean, everybody must die at some point. Um, fun memories. I mean, as a little boy watching the replays of the World Cup as early as and six. And the goals he scored. As six. I mean, I was so fond of that 1970 Brazilian team that had uh, Pelé, Jairzinho, Tastau, a, a lot of very good uh, players uh, in, in that squad. And that fourth goal against, against Italy uh, in that final, over 50 passes were made before Pele and Before the final lay. And how casual it was. It laid the Pele. ball across. I mean, though we're not talking about Pele here, we're talking about uh, Carlos Alberto, but it just shows the football brain, the football mind. They were well ahead of their time you know, in it, the quality of football that they played. They had telepathic understanding is as if even a guy with his back to the ball knows where the next man uh, is going to be and that was my introduction to football um, really uh, looking at that brazil uh, and and more then lately uh, then after that that 82 team that didn't get a win but also had a lot of good uh, players and after nigeria you know brazil has always been my team and it's it's uh, i feel i feel really sad but he lived a good life mm. he lived a good life he grew uh to be 70 and unlike most of his peers you know looking at him didn't you know coaching and all the things he did didn't really take a toll uh on him, on him. physically well, if you if you compare him with maybe uh mario zagallo and some of those guys mm. really looking Tensed up, mm, old, old. At 72, he was still able to get involved. Yeah, and get involved. Is, yeah. is gone now. Mm. Mm. He didn't make a success of the coaching career, in my, in my own opinion. Yeah, but, a world class I'll, coach. But I'll stick with the memories of him as a player, and you know, the, the nickname he was given, his leadership qualities, his ability uh, to do all all the good things uh, uh, on the field of play. Uh, I mean, it's the Brazil legend, you know. He dies, but, but of course, there are still many of them. Uh, Pele is still around. But he was a great man. That, that's just, I'm sure. That's a summary, yeah, yeah, summary of it. Yeah, a summary of it. All right, so forget, forget about my story. Forget about all I, I told you about um, how he came and he never resumed. Forget about that. Let's just celebrate, celebrate um, Carlos Alberto Torres um, for what he was able to do for football. Unfortunately, didn't, we didn't see him come to Nigeria to do anything, but. At least we remember what he did for, for football. Uh, guys, before we, go on, um, um, before we go on, let me just quickly tell you that games are going on. Uh, English uh, Football League Cup um, is going on as we speak. Uh, the games are um, in the last quarter now, uh, 78 minutes um, across 
uh, the centers, okay, uh, there's one that is um, gone um, 80 minutes, actually. All right. But let me, let me just run through the results for you. Um, Arsenal, 2-0 uh, up. Uh, that's very comforting for, um, for Yemi Adebayo and uh, for Cosmos uh, Chukwemeka. So Arsenal are 2-0 up. Uh, that's that's um, some good news. All right. Um, uh, Bristol City are 2-0 down at home um, to All City. All City. In that one, Leeds United, Norwich still 1-1. Liverpool are 2-1 up over Tottenham. Newcastle have gone goal crazy. They hammering Preston Norton 4-0 as we speak. Um, oh, all these games. Although it must be said that Liverpool and Tottenham played weekend sides. Um, mm, pretty much. For resting one. some of your key guys. Full strength sides. And you, you understand that both teams uh, really see themselves as title contenders. And that's why... And so I, I don't want to read too much meaning into whoever wins, uh, even for the Arsenal game. Um, much much Oxley uh, Chamberlain with the two goals for yeah, Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Very weakened um, side uh, in that one. I'm just hoping that Reading don't come with their A game. <laughs> and, and of course, um, Newcastle mm. too are beating Preston North End. Yes, Preston four nil. End. Ten man Preston North End. So you would understand that Newcastle would be able to beat them. Although they considered a goal before a man got sent off, mm. yeah. they were already under mm. pressure. Mm. But, but Newcastle have been have been. In good form. Uh, this yeah, season, it looks like they want to make a quick return. Yeah, I, I um, think keeping Rafael uh, Benitez was, was a good key. Idea. Was a good idea. Very was good. Was key. Mm. 